In the cluster cut, Mitch and Brennan are leading an important operation to get them back on track. They need to build a massive berm for a new pond to supply clean water to their wash plant Big Red. The plant has been shut down for 48 hours and they're way behind Parker's deadline for completing the task. So much to do. It'd be nice if we had more manpower. Oh, just trying to get through this, but man, it's just, uh, I feel like I'm using a teaspoon over here. We got about the Great Wall of China to build and... Uh... Uh, well, that's all we can do when he doesn't give us any manpower, so uh, it is what it is. Need more power, buddy. I just don't know how we're going to get all that done. It's not the end of the world, but doing two jobs by myself and having all the to look after, it's really old after a while. Being short-staffed means that while Mitch and Bree are working together, Brennan has to load his own truck. Definitely wiped out by the time the uh, 12th hour strikes, that's for sure. We uh, make do with what we got. Well, I guess for all those people that say uh, men can't multitask, I'd be proving them wrong today. You can tell we're understaffed. I'm uh, self-loading, trying to get both these jobs done at once. Parker's getting his money's worth. You know, I'm doing two jobs, and it's only costing him one of me. We'll try our goddamn hardest, show them that we can overcome these obstacles. Hopefully, everything should go pretty smoothly. Hopefully, key word. You know, it's nice that Parker gave Brennan and myself the opportunity to step up and and uh, you know try and line things out here. You know, the biggest problem we're running into this year is just uh, you know manpower, like we always are. People leave, and, and uh, you know, it just makes it harder and harder to get anything done. If you want to get something done faster, you either need more manpower or more horsepower. And you know, I'm looking at the amount of berm that I have to build here, and I'm probably going to be a day short of having this thing done in time. A problem with Brennan's rock truck has forced him to abandon it and do the long walk back to the yard. That breaking down is not helping out our cause here. We've already got enough to do, so it's just a pain in the ass that uh, stupid little things like this keep happening right in the middle of getting these berms up. Luckily, we have a spare truck, but I'm going to get in this truck, and hopefully I can make the day on it. My first truck broke down, so I'm on to the second truck. I got to the top of the hill and the brake, brakes locked up on there, so uh, luckily we have a spare truck, but you know, I don't got time for the today. like one of the newest hoes out. I ordered it this spring when I knew we'd have a lot to do this year, and it's got a big bucket and a lot of, a lot of power behind it, so it's really going to help us move a lot of dirt. Look at the size of that thing. The bucket is massive. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> Holy Christ. That's insane. It's got a six and three quarter yard bucket on it, and it <coughs> handles it very well. I wasn't expecting something like this. Thank you, boss. <laughs> Christmas has come early to the cluster cut, as Parker brings the team a new toy, a 750 excavator. Get those ponies a digging. If I see dented panels or scratched paint, Going home? You don't get to you don't get to go home. We're just going straight to the lashings. <laughs> yeah, I mean I had it on order. I didn't think it'd show up this soon, but it's a pretty pleasant surprise. Oh. Woo! <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you, man. Sweet. Check her out, Mitt. Well, he did his part. We better do ours, man. We got a lot of dirt to move here, so oh, let's go see how it digs. Okay, it sounds good. We're gonna put Brandon on that end with the 750. 
I'm going to keep chewing away down here with the 480, but uh, I got a feeling he's going to be catching on me pretty fast. I think old Mitchie's going to have to wait. I've been loading trucks and running excavators for five years here, so I think it was my time to uh, take this new baby for a spin. Brennan's new excavator bucket holds up to eight and a half tons of dirt, heavier than a Tyrannosaurus Rex. My God. When we said we needed help down here, I didn't think that he was going to go spend this kind of money. This thing is pent. It's almost depressing over here watching just uh, how far you've gotten and how far I've gotten. That's unreal. You sleeping over there? <laughs> Definitely a different pace than things about the 750 down here. It's uh, definitely a game changer. It's all starting to come together. So I think we make this all happen in time. Oh, man, Mitch and I needed some help. But I mean, Christ, this thing's like twice the size of that uh, 480. Mitch, Brennan, and Bree work through the night to make Parker's deadline. Sperm pond is done. Well, we finally got our new pond walls done. So now it's just a matter of getting some water in there. We're going to start filling it up. Come on, baby. Big Red now has a third pond with twice the capacity of the existing two and a constant supply of clean water. It will hopefully minimize the risk of further shutdowns. As soon as we get enough water in here, we're going to fire Big Red back up and get back to making some money. Yeah, boys. You liking that? Oh, yeah. She's way bigger than the last one. Yeah, man. Look at that. Awesome. Man, you guys didn't waste any time. Got the pump in and everything. Sweet. Wouldn't have happened without the 750, man. You could have hired five more people, and it wouldn't make up for what that 750 can do. It's unbelievable. It's unreal. Oh, huh? Oh, oh man. Well, we've been charging this pond for a bit here, but I think we've probably got enough in it. We can start sluicing. Yeah? Sweet. Let's do it. Good job. Thanks. Thank you. That's more like it. Now we're gold mining. <laughs> 